Today we are looking at World Obesity Day. Today, March 4th, is the World Obesity Day. Well, it is changing perspectives. Let's talk about obesity. According to World Obesity Federation, a global organization devoted solely to obesity, obesity can occur because of lack of physical activities, excess diet, eating high-density foods, and high snacks consumption. World Obesity Day is celebrated to focus on practical solutions to assist people in achieving and maintaining a healthy weight, receiving proper treatment, and reversing the obesity pandemic. World Obesity Day is primarily targeted at encouraging and supporting practical actions that will assist people in achieving and maintaining a healthy weight as well as reversing the global obesity crisis. Obesity is described as having excess body weight in the form of fat. Obesity places undue stress on your heart and lungs. It wears out your joints, slowly robbing you of your mobility and independence, and it destroys your body's normal metabolism. Excess body fat has health implications. Some of the associated health risks are high blood pressure, heart diseases, stroke, diabetes, and some form of cancer. Obesity is excess amount of body fat. Excess abdominal fat destroys the body's normal functioning by alerting our insulin metabolism and hormone production. And it also damages the cardiovascular system. Fat cells cause insulin resistance by releasing chemicals that block entry of glucose and insulin into cells. According to the World Health Organization, a body mass index that's BMI of 25 or higher is considered overweight, and a BMI of 30 or higher is considered obese. How did obesity become a global threat? Obesity is basically caused by imbalance of calories consumed versus calories expended. Consumption of energy-dense foods high in fats and free sugars has increased on global diets. Physical activity has decreased significantly because of the changing nature of jobs that we are doing. There is increased access to transportation and increased urbanization. According to the global burden of disease, the issue has reached epidemic proportion with over 4 million people dying each day as a result of being overweight or obese as of in 2017. Between 1975 and 2015, the global prevalence of overweight and obese children and adolescents aged 5 and 19 years increased more than fourfold from 4% 4 to 18% according to the WHO's data. What are the risks of obesity? Obesity or being, obese, or being overweight are major risk factors for a variety of chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease like heart disease, stroke, which are the leading causes of death worldwide. Obesity can lead to diabetes and its complications, such as blindness, limb amputation, and the need for dialysis. Excess weight can cause musculoskeletal Disorders such as osteoarthritis. Obesity has been linked to cancers such as endometrial, breast, ovarian, prostate, liver, gallbladder, kidney, and colon cancer. As the body mass index increases, the risk of these non communicable diseases also increases and becomes much more serious. What can be done to prevent obesity? One, reduce the number of Calories consumed. Introduce the eating of whole grains, nuts, vegetables, legumes. Engage in regular physical activities. Let's just go through again the obesity fact sheets according to worldobesityday.org. It states 1.9 billion people will be living with obesity in the year 2035. And 4.32 trillion is the expected global economic impact of overweight and obesity 
in 2035. Children obesity is expected to increase by 100% between 2022 and 2035. And finally, one in four people will be living with obesity by the year 2025. This means that this is a very serious issue. It is a very serious health factor. And all hands must be on deck to make sure that help is provided to people having obesity or being overweight so that this is reversed. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bells so that you get our videos as they drop.